Welcome to Zanzana live stream metal interview. Today we have uh, Rhapsody on fire. Uh, we have the pleasure to have with us Alex Trapoli. Hi, Alex. Hi, thanks for having me. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, fine, thank you. And you, uh, Rhapsody of Fire is that the new EP I'll Be Your Hero uh, that uh, is, uh, is out now. Uh, uh, you can uh, listen to it on, on stream, you can buy it, uh, you can uh, go and uh, catch it because it's. Um, we're going to talk about uh, this uh, album, uh, Alex. Uh, so, um, the, the album is, uh, is a compilation of a new arranged um, Rhapsody of Fire songs, is it? it? Well, it's uh, first of all, it's, it represents the new single, which will yeah. be, you know, contained also in the studio album that will be released uh, later this year. So first of all, we have the single, "The Be Your Hero," of course. Then we have a, a, so a special, a special gift, which is a "World Dragons Fly," which was uh, previously contained in the Japanese uh, uh, version of "Legendary Years." So it's a nice bonus track. Then we have two live uh, tracks recorded in Italy, in Milan, and during the 2018 tour. And then we have uh, the ballad of the Eight Mountain in uh, four different languages. So yeah. a bit about it's about you know it's a nice uh, it's a nice uh, EP. Yeah, it's an EP. La force de me battre. <laughs> oh yes, exactly. <coughs> That is it. So in French, uh, senza un addio uh, in Italian, uh, yeah. sin un addio in Spanish, and I think uh, the wind, the rain, and the moon uh, in the in English. Yes. Is that it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, why uh, for different language uh, for a uh, same song? Well, uh, we we just released the English one so far, so we didn't. Those are tracks that are has never been released. And yeah. uh, we like to enjoy to to record songs in, in, in different languages. I think that for ballads uh, it makes really sense. And uh, we started doing the Italian, of course, and then we say we said, ah, let's do also a Spanish version, and let's do also a French version. So when you you know you are in the right environment <laughs> with the right uh, with the right mood and the right singer, it's uh, you know really. A pleasure to explore different uh, territories and different languages. Yeah, maybe uh, why not a German uh, version? Because there's a lot of rhapsody of uh, fire uh, fans in Germany. <laughs> yeah, well, this may be a bit uh, a bit complicated. <laughs> Still possible, but uh, <laughs> well, I want to keep it realistic. <laughs> we yeah. did all uh, Japanese versions as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the Japanese market, we did a bonus track in uh, Rain of Fury in the Japanese version. Yeah. So, um, you, you, you released uh, an album in uh, 2019. Uh, you released uh, that, uh, that album, uh, that's the, excuse me, yeah, the Eighth Mountain. Yeah. And um, two, two years after, uh, why an EP? Why not uh, an album? Because you. Uh, you didn't have time to to to, to finish uh, the um, the writing of a new album uh, because of uh, COVID nineteen. No, actually, actually, no. It's uh, this EP function as a single, but in the reality, we had so many tracks that we had yeah, already, eight eight tracks. Yeah, we already had it, and uh, we <laughs> had them recorded and mixed. So yeah. we. There was a lot of uh, talking in the last two years what to do with these uh, different versions, and finally we were able to, you know, to make a, a product uh, which is really interesting. It's just just one song. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of material considering just it's just an EP, you know. So yeah. the good news is that the, the the studio album is done, the mix is done, and uh, so yeah, you know. The last two years, uh, we used to work on this uh, on this material. So yeah, we took the advantage of being forced to stay home and 
you know, work all the time. At least it is what I did. Yeah, um, I, you see, it's uh, it's an advantage maybe uh, because it's uh, you didn't have the the time to to reflect uh, to uh, about an album. Because when we when we have a, an album, a Rhapsody affair, we we uh, we usually wait something very strong, you know, uh, because there's a, there's a level of Rhapsody of Fire. So maybe yes. now because you had more time to to work on the uh, the album, of a new album, didn't yes. release yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, I had uh, yeah more time than usual. And uh, I must say that uh, I cannot disclose information right now, but I'm very proud of what, <laughs> I, what, what we did. And uh, it's the perfect continuation uh, after the Eight Mountain. And I must say that the mix is uh, astonishing. It's yeah. really another level. It's really, an, it's incredible what uh, Sebastian Leverman said did with this new, new idol. Because if the Eight Mountain already sounded really good, this one is really above. It's, uh, so surprisingly incredible the sound and of course the quality of the songs the fans will you know decide i'm yeah, very proud of it when we hear i'll be a hero it's uh, it's quality it's it's uh, you know it's a pure power metal rhapsody of fire song you know it's catchy yeah. it's uh yeah yes uh, yeah. It, it gives um uh, joy <laughs> exactly yes Yes, and uh, it's uh, a combination, the entire album is a combination between uh, uh, music that can be described as a positive, still very intense, very cinematograph, very film uh, music, you know, there are a lot of elements, but in the last uh, production, for the last composition, I tend to be more bright, more positive towards the, the songwriting. Yeah, um, you know, uh, it's very difficult for um, for a band that is here from very very long time and that made very uh, very very good album to write for a new one. Um, how do you? Um, what was the, the what is the, the mood, the formula, the process that you use to uh, to um, to record a new one, a new album that can surprise? Uh, always surprise the fan, not hearing even uh, the, it, I, you, know, you get the formula, but yeah. the, uh, how do you, you make evaluate? It's a it's a hard uh, path, you know, to 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 compose music that uh, first of all have to I have to enjoy and it has have to surprise me and you know sounds uh, new, uh, new and exciting for the fans it's important to have guidelines so having the guidelines of the story the guidelines of uh, uh, how the lineup is and there are many many different elements that play an important role you know the kind of singer you have the kind of band you have it, it's really important to when you want to compose something you know, so in any kind of music i think so I'm I'm driven. I'm uh, excited about uh, writing the new, new music, and uh, being the, the the responsible, the main responsible for the production and the composition and the arrangements, it puts me in the, in a path where I have to to be very serious about you know, and uh, responsibility is very very high here you know so and still i always work with images with uh, sounds uh, and uh, there's a lot of visual going on so when you want to compose something new it's uh, important to have the right uh, visions you know yeah because uh, you put the level very very high I so, try every time to yeah. raise the bar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to raise the bar. Yes. Okay. This album will be released. Uh, the studio, the, the, the full length yeah. studio album will be released uh, uh, later this year. But uh, already the IB or Hero, it's uh, it really well represent the, the path. We are, we are. Yeah. So, and there's a. Uh, <clears throat> Alex, I know that's um, maybe a bit difficult to to, uh, 
to, to speak about it, but uh, uh, there's not only one, there's one Rhapsody of Fire, but now there's lots of Rhapsodies, a Rhapsody of X, Rhapsody of Felix, and things like this, you know, it's, uh, uh, isn't it, uh, uh, how you say it, the, isn't there the, um, the, 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 the risk to, to have the confusion for the fans, or maybe, I don't know, it's like, you know, uh, you know, there's a, uh, uh, you talk about Milan, Milan AC that plays with uh, one team and another team, but with the same name, you know, but two, two yeah. different, uh, um, two different teams, two different players with the same, for the same squad. I understand what you mean. And, uh, yeah, I know it can be, it can be difficult to, to understand or, you know, it can be a bit confusing. Still, I think that after so many years, uh, I must say it's almost 10 years yeah. that uh, to really myself got, uh, you know, separate ways. I, you know, I think Rhapsody of Fire, the music that we do is uh, different anyway uh, from the music of compared to any other, any other band. So I keep going, I keep doing what I like. I keep, uh, you know, keeping the, the sound uh, in, in, in trying to improve everything for every production. So I cannot really, uh, you know, be distracted by by other bands, but I'm talking in general now. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not listening uh, other heavy metal bands in general, you know, because I'm, I'm really, I mean, as I said before, in the last two years, this is what, all what I did in music, all working on this new, new project. So, if I listen to some music, it's a soundtrack or classical music or not heavy metal in general. I want to stay, you know, really focused on what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, to be more spe specific, the, the, the music uh, uh, pro proposal that, uh, that really does is anyway different. It has its own uh, approach. Uh, from, Composition wise and mixing wise, uh, we are very, very different uh, music, uh, music uh, planets, I would say, really. So it's Alex Teropoli who is with us. Uh, we remember this CP that is uh, now I'll Be Your Hero with the song I'll Be Your Hero that uh, will be on the, the next album uh, that will be released uh, later this uh, year. Um, the um, you you play uh, keyboard, uh, but uh, maybe how is it? You you compose everything, and after you submit what you compose to the other band members, or uh, there's um, don't know, I, it's, it's democracy, but there's uh, you know uh, um, it's this interaction between you and the other band members yeah. of the lineup. Yeah, so yeah, well, it depends on the song, for example, because uh, uh, usually uh, I use a lot of uh, Robbie's uh, guitar riffs and parts. So there is a different uh, different area of working, you know. Sometimes I compose a song by myself, and uh, but most of the time I like to to hear what uh, Robbie has in mind. So we exchange files. Decide that yes, at the end I choose what I think is the best and I build a song, create drum track, bass tracks and, and everything. And then of course I build and compose the best I can for any instrument. But of course at the end, uh, Alessandro Sala will play the bass, but he will enhance the part. He will not just play single notes, you know, it will just uh, translate the part for, for him and for his playing and for what's the best for the song. And uh, and this is what also works for drums, guitars, uh, and, uh, yeah. uh, and vocals, of course. And how do you work with, with Robbie? He submitted you uh, um, some uh, riffs that, that he, he liked or he invented and uh, he tell it, yeah. Um, yeah, Alex, he just these are some, uh, some ideas. <laughs> yes, it, it throws me a folder of 
of MP3. Sometimes it's really recorded very badly, but it's enough to catch, you know, the the, the idea. Yes. And, uh, yeah. It just sent me a lot of stuff, and I choose what I like the more, what I think is more uh, exciting and uh, brilliant, you know, in a way. Sometimes, oh, sometimes some some pieces I don't like it, but when I release it, I use it and combine it. Uh, it's uh, it's really interesting because uh, sometimes it does it does really good composition with play, just playing the guitar. You know, sometimes I have to to talk with him. What did you want to do with this series of chords? What's going on here? Is this a I don't know? Is this a solo? You want some singing on? You know. So sometimes we 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 discuss that, and uh, sometimes he gives me a part which he he believes he composed to be. Uh, an introduction, but I like it so much. I use it for for a singing part. So yeah. I like to to modify things, you know, and uh, to yeah, this way it keeps things exciting. And uh, yeah, that's the way we work. Uh, and uh, it takes time, though, because we now we don't live in the same town. But usually, I go back in Italy and we sit down. And we record some demos together. This time we, it was not possible, but we have a very high speed connection so we can exchange files as we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the pandemic uh, changed the way of working. Huh? It's, uh, because uh, yeah. usually, you know, you have the idea of a band that is on the studio all together, uh, uh, finding, you know, rehearsing, finding some uh, some riffs, some compositions, some chords, yeah. things like that. But now it's finished. <laughs> no, well, it was never like this for, for <laughs> us, for this band anyway, because I was always the main composer and uh, okay. we had approach to write stuff all together. I, I never had this approach in my life. Uh, first with Torilli, we were just sitting down the two of us and writing songs and writing everything for everybody, you know. At the end, it yeah. always works. For me, it really works like that. And uh, unless I'm with my brother or with Robbie, so we are really, if we have a deep friendship. We know each other since the, we were, I mean, they were, I met uh, with Robbie and, uh, and to really at the same time, they were 16 years old. I was 18. So I know them since uh, a really long time, you know. And uh, so I have a very special relationship with uh, with Robbie. We really talk about uh, everything regarding the band, and also, you know, I think uh, it's a different approach, you know. Yeah. And uh, okay, about the, the music, about the song, about the composition, about the arrangement. But how about the lyrics and the atmosphere of the song? Yeah, this is this is what I wanted to to to, to say also that uh, first of all. Considering the situation, we got lucky because I could fly to Italy. It was uh, last summer, summer last year. There was like a, a window where uh, the situation was, uh, according to the moment, it was possible to fly in and out. So I just was lucky enough to be able to go to Giacomo's house that we, we recorded everything. and. Um, so we could accomplish the, the the vocal recording, the choir recording, all the guests that we had, solo soloists. And uh, regarding lyrics, uh, yes, it's like um, I gave uh, the I gave um, Giacomo the freedom to write uh, the lyrics according to the saga, which is you know it was uh, uh, created by Robbie with my supervision and uh, Giacomo wrote the lyrics uh, according to as many songs as we had and you know trying to to do a a good job uh, at that time we didn't know no actually yes I, I knew because I it, it is important also to have a kind of a sequence you know so once you also know which is the first song of the album which is the last one you know you can write lyrics in a that makes sense, you know. There is a you know a, a path to follow through the song. Mm. Though this is not relevant, so relevant for me, but it's uh, what we did. And uh, yeah, Giacomo wrote fantastic lyrics. And uh, when I went there to record the song, it was uh, he already sent me demos, so it was really really cool to sit down 
record uh, professionally the album and everything was written and the videos were written melodies also so it was a very very enjoyable work yeah in this um, in this cp uh, there's also uh, some songs that um, i think two songs that uh, that are live rain of fury and uh, the courage to forgive yes yes yeah, so as i said they were performing in italy in milano yeah. in 2018 and uh yeah we recorded some shows and um, i found out that uh, this particular event uh, the sound was pretty good performance was good so i said okay let's i asked seb to 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 mix the the, the two tracks and uh, and we kept it there for a while i mean <laughs> i think they were mixed like a year ago or something because i knew i wanted to do something you know and, yeah it's, uh, it, it's important to you know to also to make the fans that were not uh, able to see us they, they, all, they never saw us live yet to listen how the live approaches which i must yeah. say it's really different from the album because the album everything is so polished and you know clear and perfect and live uh, i must say the still there are a lot of elements because we, we use uh, uh, orchestral elements, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of different tracks, but uh, live uh, there is much more power, much more volume as well. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's I just say it's um, it's a way to uh, to give fans some uh, some elements uh, because now they can't see Rhapsody on fire uh, on tour. Do you miss uh, the scene? Do you miss the stage? Well, it's a uh, it's a big break, huh? It's a, yeah. it was a big break, but uh, yes, I Too missed much. The, I missed the fans. Well, I was working in the meantime, so for me it was okay, you know. And uh, yeah. we had to stop uh, the previous tour, but uh, we just had five shows to do. We could not finish it, but uh, most of it was was done. But of course. We had the last uh, the last five shows we could not do it and uh, it was a big uh, disappointment of course but uh, from that moment on when i came home i just started working so i used the time to just to do what i had to do anyway after the two i had you know my plan was anyway to go back home and work yeah and uh, i hope that um by the end of the year, when your 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 next album will be uh, released, hope that all the concerts uh, that will, will come back and uh, everyone will have this uh, vaccine and uh, you know uh, the we can go back to life and to go to see uh, concerts uh, again. And now you will be able to to defend uh, a new album. Yes, yes. I hope that. Uh, you will one way or another there will be a you know an improvement a release <laughs> so i hope that uh, you know we already we already announced some shows for for france we will soon uh, add the, all the dates all the tour dates for the whole european tour so we hope uh, that the situation will be good enough to be able to do it, you know, because I'm sure every band that is planning right now to do tour, nobody really knows if this tour will, is going to happen or not. Everybody is announcing, everybody is saying, yes, we are back, we will be back. But this is um, still, I don't know, it's unclear, but of course, everybody hopes this is going to happen. You know? Yeah. Does something change in the music business uh, after this? Uh pandemic breakdown because uh yeah you know uh, in in the in the last 20 years ago was not like i don't know five five years ago you know bands need now to to go on tour or to uh, to 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 um, to get money because now they have to pay to to um to have their album uh, released and uh, the, the system has changed from the last year but now with pandemic um is there something that changed in the music business? Well, I, well, I can talk for myself. Uh, yeah. 
besides not being able to, to play shows, uh, I work so much, like uh, being in this limbo, and uh, so you know, for 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 me, it didn't change didn't change so much, at least for now, you know, because. Uh, we must see in the future how things are going, you know. And uh, I understand for for new bands it's uh, more difficult, you know. We, as a Rhapsody of Fire, we established uh, our music and you know our name since uh, many many years. So maybe for that we are a little bit more comfortable. But sure, we, you know, everybody suffers. Every band suffers for also because now there are every band. On the market wants to play and already one or two years ago it was already very difficult to you know to to organize a tour because there are so many bands around the offer is so huge that uh, it's difficult that every metal fan will attend every single show you know so it's now, impossible yeah now now, now now that's the problem that uh, for sure we are going to to see in the next years you know festival already fully booked uh, and uh, you know every month there are so many bands on one side it's exciting because uh, if you think you are a fan you have the chance to, to see save your money and go to see your favorite bands and on one, you know on this uh, if you if you if you look at that it's, it's positive but of course when the offer is so huge you have to renounce uh, otherwise it's <laughs> it's yeah. very expensive. Yep. I'll be your hero of the new EP uh, of Rhapsody of Fire with a song uh, that's very uh, marvelous. Uh, um, so thank you very much, uh, Alex. It was a pleasure having you uh, with us. Um, we are uh, broadcasting from Tunisia. Zanzana, did you, did you come to Tunisia? Do you know Tunisia? No, I know Tunisia. I have friends that, that came there, but no, I, I never had the pleasure. I never had the pleasure yet. Even on holiday, nothing. Never, no, never no, came. Not yet. No, <laughs> no, I never did. I did travel a lot, uh, but I never had the chance to see some countries uh, like Tunisia. No. Yeah. And for <laughs> I hope in the future. I hope in the future. And yeah, I miss traveling. This I, I must say because uh, it's a big part. It's a bit part, not only for touring, you know, it's important to, you know, to see different countries, meet new people and, you know, discover, discover new, new, new things. It's, uh, it's important for me. So I hope this will be happening soon for everyone. Okay, so I hope to see you in Tunisia on tour, on concert or even on holiday yeah, one day. That would be great. <laughs> to play there would be great. I, I'm up for it. Yeah. Okay. And do you know Tunisian band? I, I don't know. No, not really. No. <laughs> I, I I have to. If you tell me, I will uh, I will search for. I will dig up. Uh, yeah, you have to know. Uh, you have to know Cartagots. Cartagots is a power, oh. Tunisian power metal band. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Cartagots. Thank and, you. Uh, maybe you know Mirath. Mirath, uh, no, 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 yeah, it's an Oriental no. uh, metal band, yeah. No, don't, please don't get offended, but as I told you before, yeah. I'm not listening too much, you know, so... What do you listen, uh, Alex Trapoli? What do you listen to? What, what do I listen? Well, I listen classical music. Late, the last two years I've listened to uh, classical music, I discover new people. <laughs> With classical music you, you discover something new every day, so... This really helps me a lot, you know, and uh, I've listened to soundtrack and, uh, but still the time available is not that much. So I've listened for many, many hours, uh, the, the material that will be containing the upcoming album. So. Not saying that I'm tired of it because I'm proud of it, but you know, you know what I mean to listen to work for yeah. two years on the same, you know, the same amount of songs. But uh, yeah, generally yes, uh, classical music and soundtrack. Of course, sometimes I like to explore if there is a new band or releasing something new. I like to to listen what they do, you know. Of course. Yeah. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Karim, thank you very much for having me. And uh, thank you again. And uh, for the, the, the fans in Tunisia, I hope we come back one day to play. And thanks for supporting us. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Zanzana, l'émission métal.